Welcome back to my channel, girlies, book lovers, and academics. I'm so glad that you guys could join me today. I am feeling lighthearted. I'm feeling giddy. I mean, I could giggle and kick my feet, honestly, because my semester is over, which means that I can read and enjoy my life a little bit more than usual. Not entirely, because I still have things that I need to do and, you know, deadlines for other various <laughs> reasons, but for the most part, I'm just going to be reading. Anyways, I am here to start a reading vlog. I haven't done one of these since last summer, basically. I don't think I did any over the Christmas break because I think at that point I was so far gone. I was like crashed that reading just wasn't something that I was really getting up to, to be honest. But now I feel refreshed and rejuvenated. How? I honestly can't say, but I'm just excited to sit here and chat about books again because like that's what life is for. Anyways, I'm going to be filming a little mini reading vlog for the next few days. And we're just going to see what I get through. I am in a fantasy mood because I'm currently reading a fantasy book, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. But I am also going to be um, filming a 24-hour readathon in the second half of this week. And that is going to be romance-based. So hopefully... Hopefully I can get like all the fantasy out of my system because I know transitioning between those two types of genres always kind of mess me up a little bit. I am currently reading Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. I love Margaret Rogerson's books. I feel like we need to give her her flowers because in terms of authors who not only like write a story through the plot, but also through like the actual words they use, like she does the job. Honestly, if I'm reading a book that's like dark academ like academia, I will get that sense in just like the language and like the richness of the descriptions themselves and i just like remember reading sorcerer of thorns i think like two or three years ago and being amazed by like how much the writing was imbued with like the tone of the actual story um but in terms of what the story is about we follow the main character artemisia she's training to be a gray sister which is basically a nun that cleanses spirits from dead bodies to make sure that they don't like rise up and ravage the kingdom because typically if they do they like possess people's bodies and um things get really really bad <laughs> or at least they possess people who have sight other people i think they can just like kill them so either way it's not really the alternatives you know what i'm saying it's not the greatest but anyways her coven is attacked by a band of possessed soldiers so Clearly, someone was not cleansing the bodies, <laughs> um, and she basically has to raise a revent spirit, like, which is, they're bound to, like, relics. They're, like, these ancient spirits that are bound to relics, um, and basically bind it to herself to save her covenant. But now she's kind of seen as, like, a dangerous threat because typically you're at risk for possession, especially since she doesn't like she's not trained to wield this revenant and like the relic and stuff so yeah she has to flee but she actually ends up kind of you know having to turn to the revenant which is tip like typically been seen as bad to figure out like what's going on like why did these soldiers attack and like how can i you know help save the kingdom i, I don't even know if it's like a kingdom i don't really i i feel like i haven't been paying enough attention to the world structure itself like i've been just really fascinated by this like the saint and like gray sisters and like that whole hierarchy system is really interesting to me i think that is the structure of the world like it's a religious um more than like governmental kind of structuring if that makes sense it's been really entertaining so far i'm more than halfway through the book so, well just barely over half and i can hardly put it down i'm definitely gonna be I'm gonna try and finish it tonight, but we will see.
about to head out um, because I have a quick meeting, but I am in the epilogue of the book. So I've finished the story. I'm in the epilogue. I have a sense of how it's ending and how it's going to end because I'm really just seeing like the aftermath of the story. And I have to say that I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed reading this. This was such a delight for me. Um, and I'm going to probably read it like 4.5 stars um I am so stingy with five stars sometimes and I don't really know why but like I feel like it's a 4.5 stars like a solid 4.5 I I just love this book I feel like I have to let my thoughts cook a little so maybe I'll come back and like talk about it more maybe I won't but I have to leave and I'm definitely gonna finish this before I get home tonight so I need to pick a second book to start for this vlog so let's quickly look at my shelf I definitely am gonna read another fantasy book because that's what I'm in the mood for. I have Babel, 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 but I feel like I've been putting this off because literally look how long this is and also it's a really tiny word. <laughs> I'm like kind of scared to read this. Um, I don't really want to read Binti right now because honestly I don't want to read anything space related. Here's a good option because I need to finish this duology or is this a trilogy now? The Merciless ones? Options. This is like a ro- a f ro- fantasy. Bro, where is the synopsis? Two options. I don't know what to read. I need to finish this duol- I think this is a duology or maybe there's a third book. I don't even know. And this is me starting a completely different series and I don't even have the second book. So I feel like, is that a wise decision? I think it makes sense to finish something and not to start something. Okay, we're going with the Merciless ones because it makes the most sense. And also I read the first page and was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I like this. I find it so difficult to get back into a series after I have been gone for such an extended period of time. And I'm pretty sure I read the Gilded ones two years ago or like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I read the Gilded ones two years ago. And so I truly don't really, like I don't remember a lot of the plot. I, I remember like roughly how it ended and like the plot twist and whatnot, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but I, I kind of do actually wanna read this next. I'll read the other book some other time. So this is my next read after I wrap up the prologue or the epilogue of this book. I need to get my tote. Christ is my firm foundation. into the merciless ones and okay I feel like this might just be an issue that a lot of sequels have like those first couple pages that are heavily prescriptive in that they like tell you this and this and this and this happened in the last book I find incredibly annoying like I hate that I don't really like when authors tell us stuff. I prefer them to show us things. And the first at least five chapters of this book is the author telling us everything they discovered or that we discovered in the first book, which obviously is useful because like I don't remember half the things that happened in the first book. 
but it's just like the method in which this happens like and this is not the first book that I've read that does this like I've read quite a few but the fact that we're like five chapters in and it continues to be like very much written in this way like I don't remember how the first book was written and I listened to the first book partly on audio so like that may have changed the way I like perceived it but I don't know like right now I'm just like oh my god like, why are we saying this and this and this happened like it just feels too much like too much telling, not enough showing, even with some of the stuff that's now happening. No, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know how I'm feeling about this, but um, we're gonna keep reading. I wanna get a little further in. Okay, good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. I went to the gym this morning and I read on the treadmill, which I've never done before. Typically, I do a 13 or 14 incline three point speed or a little bit above if I'm feeling it and then I walk for 20 minutes. Um, today I did I think close to 30 minutes and then I was walking at like a 2.7 speed just so I didn't fall while I tried to read because like something about reading and walking I was I didn't want to fall. Anyways so I got a little bit further into this book but honestly I'm getting through this pretty slow like I wanted to make a dent and I'm not even over the 100 page mark, which I don't know if it's a testament to how like much I'm struggling to get into this story again. Um, and also my grievances that I shared with you last night kind of remain. It's not as bad now that I feel like a lot of the telling from the first book has we've concluded, but I don't know. I'm just like not really into the story anymore, which kind of sucks, but I'm going to keep reading. I also wanted to show another book that I want to read, but I don't know if I'm going to get to it. It's a short story collection called Broken Lives and Other Stories. This book is related to the Civil War period or the post-Civil War, post-independence and then post-Civil War period in Nigeria. Um, and so it's like relevant for research, but I'm not writing on it. Like this is just a book that I want to read. And so I think I'm going to start on maybe one or two of the stories today just so um, I don't feel heavy burdened by trying to get through this because the get through is just not getting through. Also, I forgot to show you the books I got yesterday when I went to the bookstore. Um, I only got two books, but I'm like very excited about these. I also feel like I'm like entering an era of cozy fantasy. Like I was on TikTok for an hour or so last night looking at cozy fantasy racks and realized that this is a genre that I might really, really like. And so one of the books I got is like related to this, I think. I was listening to somebody talk about like what is the cozy fantasy genre because like that seems to be kind of obscure. Why did I buy this? I literally returned or I like sold my hardcover copy so I could buy the paperback and then I went and bought the hardcover of the second book, which makes absolutely no sense. So I'm kind of irritated with myself, but like the hardcover is beautiful. This is A Psalm of Storms and Silence by Rosanna A. Brown. I've yet to read the first book. I started it, never finished it last summer. I just wasn't in the mood for fantasy at that time. Um, and if you see any of the things I read, you'll know I was reading a lot of realistic fiction and contemporary stuff. So that makes sense. But I really do want to read this series like within the year. And so I got the second book. I also picked up this book, which I'm so unbelievably excited for. It's called The City of Dreaming Books by Walter Morris. And just like the synopsis captivated me, it was giving... Howl's Moving Castle, um, a little bit of like Sorcerer of Thorns in terms of like this kind of magical book world. Really fascinated by that and I'm gonna read it um, sometime this summer. But I will get to reading because I kind of want to finish this book <laughs> so that I can move on to something else. I will finish it. Whether I will read the third book, we'll have to get to the end of this one to find out. But yeah, I will finish this book.
Um, we are in a bit of a predicament. I am starting my 24 hour reading vlog with my friend today and I just feel like this vlog, I've, I've started editing it so I know it's kind of getting long. Um, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here even though I have not finished the Merciless ones. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna finish it this week. I'm only over 100 pages into the book and like yesterday I planned on reading but I ended up working most of the day and so yeah, I didn't really get a lot of time to read. I read a bit this morning on the treadmill, but for the most part, I just don't see myself finishing this this week. And yeah, I will give you my current comments. And if you're curious to hear how I end up feeling about the book, you should follow me on Goodreads. I don't always write reviews, but sometimes if I feel very strongly about this book, I, I will. Thus far, this is how I'm feeling. Okay, so we've kind of gone over the telling and not showing part. Um, especially since we like moved past the initial like what happened in the last book. Now the new thing that's kind of bothering me is Nuru's character. Um, she's the main character and I feel like she is just a little too insufferable for my liking in this. Like the self, like the guilt, the self-deprecation is just too much for me. Like every little thing she's like oh, it's my fault. This person dies. Oh my god it's my fault. This person can't sleep. Oh my god it's my fault. Like no, it's it's not. And like, perhaps, you know, I understand this like form of thinking is, is realistic, but like reading that kind of repetitive self-blame is just infuriating. Like I just can't deal with it. And so from one problem to the next, I currently am just kind of annoyed with her character and she's like the main character. I will say I'm like now kind of interested in the plot and I definitely want to find out like, what's going on so I'm gonna finish the book um but honestly I just can't imagine myself giving this anything higher than three stars because I'm just so fed up and I'm only 100 pages in uh that being said I'm super excited to start my 24-hour reading challenge with my friend so I'm leaving this at home I think yeah I will read some of this in the evening um and I'm gonna start a different book for that challenge so Stay tuned for that video because reading is fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is such a chatty video. Book videos tend to be because like obviously I'm reading and then telling you guys my thoughts. So I hope you don't mind that I'm like, it's literally me in front of the camera like half this video. But anyways, we will chat later and I have to head out soon. So.